Hey. This is makingmedia.com. I'm here at the uh, protest at Angel Medical Center. Here we've got people. And tell me, why are you here at the protest? Because it's important to the life and safety of our mothers and our newborns that we have a labor and delivery unit because we are going to lose people. We're going to lose moms and we're going to lose babies if they close this unit. We're going to lose moms and babies if something's not done. And this is a very, very basic health care need since Eve gave birth to Cain. Women have given birth. This community's fought long and hard to have it here, and we need to keep it. Well, trying to save our delivery and labor unit, and uh, we work hard build this hard for uh -huh. 70s. We had only three practitioners at that time. Average is 55. Yeah. I came here 72. Work real hard. Recruit the doctors, sit in time, build a new hospital, increase all the way, improve little by little. Now they want to dismantle it. Close it. Delivery units, then what next? We should have saved our community. That's why they um, Because the women and children in this area matter. Because women should have the choice to have babies in their hometown. And is this an angel baby? She absolutely is. I'm an angel baby. I'm concerned about women's health and the safety of our um, mothers and babies. And this is the best place for them to deliver if they can. Because we want to keep our labor and deliver unit because they are our family. They um, saved Lucy. Um, a okay. pretty, pretty bad situation, so that's why she's here. Okay. I'm an angel baby. You're an angel baby? My daughter's an angel baby, and my grandson's an angel baby. Oh. And it's my daughter, my daughter works in labor and delivery, so she will lose her job. We are here because we support our labor and delivery, and we need it in our town. We've got long legacy of here, angel babies. And we shouldn't have to drive and put ourselves at risk to drive to Silver That's Asheville. Right. That's what we're here because we believe in protecting the rights of women and children, and we need this service in this area for for local women so they don't have to travel several hours for health care services. Hoping to get the attention of Mission and let them know that we value the lives of mothers and babies more than oh, okay. the dollar sign. I'm here because we need to keep our labor and delivery service open for the safety of women and children. And also to keep our young people in this town for the good of our community. Yes, because pregnant mothers should not have to drive out of town to have their babies. Mostly we are all here because mostly some people are trying to close down the doctor's place. No, you were born at Angel? Yeah. It says 32 weeks, 4 pounds, 6 ounces. Yeah. What about you? You an Angel baby? Yes, obviously. Yeah, obviously. 27 weeks, 1 pound and 9 ounces. Yeah. I was a, I, it, I went through a lot. You went through a lot? Our names is Adriana and Ryan. All right, Adriana and Ryan, thank you for, for talking. It's a lot of wind out here. Yeah, it's a lot of wind. Ryan, bring it down a little bit. I have a bit. question. Any of you guys? Yes. I have a, is this live or something? Yeah, you're live. Oh. <laughs> no. You know, you're going away. Any of you guys want to talk about why you're here? Yes, we're here to support. Like I said, I, or like he said, I am the mother of three uh, preemies, all of them that were born here. Um, he wouldn't have survived if it wasn't for the nurses and the doctors saving him. Um, and then this little guy here, Dr. Gaddy, uh -huh. actually put me in a wheelchair and wheeled me across the street into this hospital to do an emergency C-section not even eight months ago. And if not, he wouldn't be here either. To save the um, women, prevent them from getting rid of the Women's and Children's Unit. Had it not been for the Women's and Children's Unit, my three-year-old wouldn't have been here today. Okay. Because her umbilical cord was wrapped around her neck in this fast action. She got sick. I'm here to support labor and delivery at Angel Medical Center. It's a basic uh, medical need. It's not.
subspecialty like plastic surgery or neurology. It's something that you need to have in every community. Well, I think that uh, the danger for many, many uh, mothers and babies is too great for the dollars to be saved. And I think this uh, this is really a symptom of the national issues about health care, and I believe in a single payer system for national health care. I think Paulus is, uh, doesn't have our best interests at heart, uh, quite possibly is a liar, and um, I, I, I think his intentions are wrong for this community. I don't think he understands this community or this hospital. I think he's in it for the money to sell out mission to a larger group and I think he needs to reevaluate the situation. Um, I just think it's in the best interest of our community to retain uh, labor and delivery services and help our young families have quality health care that, that is basic to a growing community. Okay, you got an angel baby here? This is an angel baby, angel baby. Oh. And if this goes through, that would have been a Cowie Mountain baby. Oh. Yeah. I think uh, the hospital is here to serve the community and uh, Personally, I'd rather have services than a new building. So, I'd rather have an old building with services than a new building without services. And I think it's important. Um, you got an angel baby? I do. I have three. Oh. And she's our last. She was born last Jan this Jan past January. And really fast, had we not been able to come to Angel Medical Center, she would have been born on the way to Harris or. She came really fast, but more than that, Angel's Women's Unit is hands down one of the best, I think. Their care is phenomenal, and our community really needs it. Oh, we're just here to support the Labor and Delivery Unit. Cause okay, you've got a... We've got Angel Babies, Oh. we wouldn't want it any other way. Well, I'm here because of the uh, uh, concern I have, Bob, towards uh, the impact that it's going to have on the town in the long haul. Uh, nobody's going to want to come to Franklin if there's no labor and delivery services, particularly young people, which we're trying to attract in some of our high-tech businesses, such as your business. Okay. I can't. I can't even see them. We're, nope. we're photographing against the sun. Yeah. <laughs> They're coming for you. All right, everybody, look over here. <laughs> They're on their way. They brought the big paddy wagon.